for all the parts made without the fronts and the caps on. There we go, all the 31 pipes, all ready for the assembly, uh, all in the individual components, uh, as you can see the gasket, the cap, the upper lip, and its stopper. So, that's where we've got to so far on it, and they're now all going to be assembled. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to set up this pipe here, which is actually A5, and you can see the front is not on, so we're just going to quickly tune it all up. So if I can get my uh, friend now, Gary, to uh, press me uh, A5, I'll get that tuned up so you can see how we do it. Right, that's tuned up, we'll just show you. We're also looking for pitch. Uh, we're looking for 440 concert pitch. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring my meter up so you can actually see the meter that I was using then to tune it up. So if Gary will, uh, in a few seconds, switch that back on for me, I'll bring it up so you can actually see it. I'll put it onto micro so you get a better picture. What we're actually looking for is in this top corner, 440. Right, Gary. And you can see we're more or less on on song there. 440, A5, slightly, slightly bit low, but uh, it may be the b noise of the blower interfering with it as well. Plus my voice talking. So there you go. That's the first one. Right, I'll just get on and do the rest now, and then come back uh, when it's all tuned and give you a bit of a, a tune. Right, uh, all the pipes have now been tuned, all the caps have now been set. I will go a little bit more into voicing, although I'm no expert, um, not professing to be or claiming to be any kind of expert on this job. Uh, this is just my pure hobby and I wish to share it with you all, so I hope you're all interested. <laughs> I think that's enough of that one just to show you that it all works regarding voicing not an expert in this field as I've said many times uh, this is just the way that I, I voice mine the way that I've found out uh, that you know probably people have been voicing them for years I don't know but this is the way that I voice them anyway right as you know our upper lips aren't actually glued on to start with in the first place if you actually do a bit of experimenting with this and the position of this uh, upper lip you'll notice it'll actually fire in several places, in other words make a note in several places. This pipe happens to be G2. Just to give you the idea what I'm talking about, I'll just run very quickly through. Um, I'll just keep it pressed down all the time. So as you, as you can see, just there it's got one note, which is actually E5, very loud. That's because the aperture is very short. Very short. So if we uh, move it up a little bit further, to about there, we end up with a C4. And if we move it up a bit further, we end up with a B4. If we move it up a bit further still, to where I've got these marks, because I cheated it earlier we end up where we want to be which is G2 but very quiet but bass notes usually are they're not necessarily loud now what we're trying to prevent is 
is I've heard some organs that actually sound when you actually play them if you hear that it actually plays a B4 and then runs in to G2 which is the actual voice we want we actually want G2 the point is because this aperture is too still too short um, if we um, play the note now we do get G2 but it goes through B4 first so in other words if you listen you'll hear a, a, a little note first before it runs into the G4 note sorry G2 so it's playing B4 and then running to G2 again that's because this aperture is too small in other words the upper lip is too close to the airway press G again and now we've moved a bit further up and you can still hear another note before the G2 that we're looking for again still not enough so we move it out a little bit more now that's very close as you can hear that's virtually going to G2 straight away but if you really listen very very carefully right at the beginning you'll hear it actually picking another note up that's just under G2 and it's actually coming out if I can stop it quick enough at A2 so it's actually playing very briefly A2 before G2 meaning I'm very close but not close enough so I'll move it out some more so and there is a, a position where you can go too far I'll explain that in a minute there you can hear the G2 rattling away the way of testing it that you are actually on song is to rapidly fire the key so I'm going to press G2 on my keyboard now which will fire this pipe very quickly and you can hear that was G2, 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 G2 straight away even on the long notes or a quick G2 which says the pipe is firing correctly if you go too far you'll probably hear I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on this video purely because my blower straight under my legs that's driving this pipe so it might drown it out a bit but you should be able to hear this pipe breathe quite heavily while it's playing in other words chiff we don't want that so that means we've gone too far so open it up again until it's just about chiffy same to all pipes and you'll have a very nice sounding organ at the end of the 